Hello there, Can Nokoromp here, and we are aboard our captain ship in the Buried Ocean, continuing our New in Town Let's Play. Uh, this is episode 50. Uh, I really want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and keeping up with all these videos as we uh, go on this New in Town Let's Play, both through the standard New in Town and through the New in Town Dimensions pre release. It means a lot for you guys have stuck around with me. Uh, through 50 whole episodes of New in Town, and uh, here's to another 50 more as we continue exploring the rest of the dimensions and building new structures. There's still plenty more to do. Um, of course, we may not have 50 more in this se uh, season, um, but come next season with 1.17, there's going to be lots to do. So please keep an eye out and uh, stick with uh, the channel as we continue to grow. Uh, with that said, last episode we conquered the chandelier that we had previously run away from uh, and got quite a lot of good loot that we kind of need to sort through just a little bit. Um, but we also located another chandelier and we're woefully unprepared for that one this time and had to run away from it. Uh, once again, it was a boss chandelier so I had an illusioner and uh, I think two evokers, possibly three. So it was very, very powerful. Um, so I'm thinking at some point we're definitely going to uh, put this channeling on our trident. Not super important right this second because this episode uh, I believe we're going to go to the primordial desert and we're going to try and find the um, uh, pharaoh's tomb and hopefully that will give us lots of solid loot for us to utilize uh, when we go to the uh, sh when we return to the chandelier. Um, so with that said, we're going to do a little bit of inventory management here. We're not going to bring all of this along um, because there's no reason to. So I'm going to go ahead and stick a lot of this in here. We're going to keep these flight duration rockets on us. I don't need either of those. Um, shouldn't need most of this food. I'll keep the pork chops on me. Don't need the cobblestone or this torch. Um, I'll keep the shovel. We may need it, but I don't think we'll need the hoe. Uh, shouldn't need that pickaxe either. Uh, we'll keep the diamond axe, I suppose. And then, of course, the sword. Um, but the rest of this stuff, you know what? I don't really need the trident either. Um, we're going to go ahead and... and Oh, wait. There's uh, shears here. I don't need those either. The um, rest of this, we're going to go ahead and pop in our ender chest. Um, and then we're going to go to the primordial desert, where we already have some uh, resources prepared for us to utilize. Um, as I think I've mentioned before, the primordial desert, of course, uh, we've been there before. There's... Lots to do, lots of cool structures to explore, and uh, expensive loot to locate. Ow. Um, a trident. Ow. Leave me alone. We're going to have to deal with that when we return. That won't be fun. Um, lots of great loot to locate. Unfortunately, just due to the nature of the desert, it's very, very far between. And there's not a lot uh, in the middle of right now, anyway. Uh, there's lots of minerals underground, for sure. Um, and there will be even more and even more underground to explore uh, come 1.17. Um, but as of right now, there isn't that much to do. Um, in particular, there's no player-built structures from Riddle Desert uh, in this version. Um, so the main reason to go there is just to explore the naturally generating features uh, and structures of that world. Um, but as I said, they're, they're very far between. So, uh, now that we have the elytra and lots of rockets, probably going to want to kill some hoglins to uh, restore our um, elytra a little bit. But we are in plenty good shape uh, to properly explore the Royal Desert. So let's pop in here, and it is... Oh, hello! Oh, hi there, guys. Um, I'd rather you not do that to me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, can I slide on in here and be safe? Thank you. And now I can take care of them from ow, relative safety. Not perfect. They've got huge hitboxes for us, but uh, we should be able to handle them mostly from here. Oh, come on. Come on. Thankfully, we have this little hut already built for us to hide in. They really decided to ambush us, huh? 
I was expecting an ambush from some hostile mobs, but, or, you know, like, uh, mobs of the night, um, but not those. Okay, so we have our lodestone compass. We'll need that, of course, to get back, and then we will need our uh, keys that we got from each of the Nazca chambers. Um, that should be all that we need to bring with us, though, as we go out and explore the uh, primordial desert. We are going to wait until morning. It looks like it might be soon-ish, though, which is good. Uh, and those Hawklands will, of course, have restored a little bit of our elytra. I don't think we had any other mending items. But we might go out and kill a couple of other mobs if we're able to. Uh, without getting in too much danger. Come on. The Hoglins are, of course, a little little high end on the danger, but these zombies should be easy enough to handle. Hey there! If you're enjoying this video, please remember to leave a like and share with your friends and to subscribe to keep an eye on when new videos come out. If you want to get involved with the community, you can join our Discord server, where you can also learn how to get involved with the New in Town Dimensions beta release for 1.17, or you can follow me on Twitter. With all that, thank you so much for watching, and back to the show. Obviously, again, because things are so far away here in the Primal Desert, and there's so little to see, um, there's going to be lots of flying this episode, and depending on how interesting it is, depending on how long we travel for, um, I'm planning to speed through, as I always do, uh, for full transparency and all of that, um, but depending on how much footage there actually is, we may cut quite a bit, and I do apologize for that if that's the case. I'm hoping to not have to, um, if I'm able to speed it up enough while not having it be just a jumpy mess, then uh, I will do that. Um, ow. But we may end up cutting some of it. If we do that, I'm thinking possibly what I'll do is um, all of the footage that I will quote-unquote... Oh, these are trap chests, that's funny. All the footage that I will quote-unquote cut... Um, I'll actually just move to the end of the episode so that uh, at least it's there for you guys to see. Yes, I did actually fly around and go searching for the Pharaoh's tomb. Um, I didn't just uh, either create one or uh, go and, and search for it off camera or things like that. So um, I do I do really care about the, the transparency for you guys. I, um, I don't want to suggest that other Minecrafters, other YouTubers and let's players um, do cheats and, and do stuff off camera and say that they, they did it legitimately. Um, that's not at all what I'm suggesting. Uh, I just know that um, I, I do value honesty and transparency um, very highly, so I want to make sure that you guys uh, believe me and trust me that uh, we are playing the game uh, as intended. With that said, it is nearly morning time, so I'm thinking we'll probably get a good start. Now, we've explored quite a bit in this direction. A decent amount in that direction and a decent amount in this direction, but not too far in that direction, if I recall. So I'm thinking that is the direction we are going to go and hopefully locate a Pharaoh's Tomb without getting too, too lost. We don't have tons of Flight Duration 3 rockets, uh, but we do have quite a few Flight Duration 2. Um, so we will, we will see kind of how far uh, these guys take us. Um, once again, we're going to go into F5 mode so we're able to see a little more clearly. I do believe there's a piglin settlement uh, somewhere over here, and that'll help orient us um, as structures in the primordial desert, um, well, again, few and far between, and with a little bit of offset, do tend to generate uh, in a pretty noticeable pattern, um, in a pattern that you can kind of follow along with um, if you are careful and uh, traveling in a straight enough line and working uh, with enough space and, and visibility. So here's that piglin settlement. Um, which means we are well on our way. So now we can kind of start going this direction. And I'm thinking what we'll do. We'll see where this next structure ends up being. We got to keep an eye on our elytra. Uh, again, I don't remember. I don't know if they can have um, unbreaking. And it's probably a good idea to find that out. Um, because it would be very, very useful. Now, we do need to kind of, as I said, sidewind a little bit because the structures uh, appear kind of in straight lines, but they can be offset. Um, it's not perfect, which is good um, because otherwise that would be way too predictable and not very interesting. So we do need to kind of hover a little bit and sidewind through the air uh, to keep our, our chunks loaded well enough that we can uh, try and see enough. We want to stay up nice and high and just kind of flutter on down, uh, glide low so we can try and find uh, any structure at all, which we should be seeing soon. It's kind of surprising that we haven't. 
There aren't any underground structures yet. That's another thing I'm hoping to be working on for the 1.17 version. Okay, so here's another uh, Nazca chamber for the spider. We don't need to open it, and also doing so would require waiting until the night. Um, so we're not going to worry about that right this second. Instead, we will continue on in this direction. Here's another piglin settlement. Seems to have generated on a dune uh, and spread out rather far, so uh, kind of got a funny little cliff there. We've got an oasis here. We'll see if there's anything kind of around the rim. There's not going to be very much uh, in the oasis. There's no structures that generate in the oasis at all, um, similarly to volcanoes. I'm hoping to make some structures for sure for volcanoes, possibly for oases. Um, we will we will see what kinds of things I can think up for that. Oh, another oasis, my dear. All right, we do want to sidewind a little bit more, as I said, and try to keep an eye out for some structures. The next structure that we find, I'm thinking will change direction slightly, change course and go, I'm thinking off to the right here. Oasis, not going to be anything useful there. Ooh, we got to we gotta land here for a little bit, I think, and take care of some hoglins. Get our um, elytra mended. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is, strategy is much safer here than in the nether. Since we don't really have to worry about lava too, too much. All right. Ooh, ooh. There's not a zero chance of lava, um, but it is smaller. Yeah, huglins are a little dangerous to deal with. Um, we may even get just a little bit of sand here and make some pillars to handle some more hoglins. Hello. All right. Uh, so we need to go one more down, which is a little scary. Oh, yep. That makes sense. That sounds about right. Okay. Nope. 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 All right. I'd rather I'd rather that not be what happens here. This is no place to die. Okay. Woo. We're all right. Oh, baby hoglin. Nope. Oh man. Wow. Well, apparently uh, the um, totem of undying we spent so much work and effort trying to get has now been wasted, which is uh, fine, I suppose. Uh, it has no choice but to be fine. A bit unfortunate, but I'm just glad we didn't have to die. Oh, hi there. And the... Oh. Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a baby. Go away. Okay. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed that we lost our, um, uh, Totem of Undying. Uh, Huglins, my gosh, they are rough fellas. Um, unfortunately, I think we're just gonna have to, uh, proceed this direction as we continue to search for some structures, and, um, uh, maybe during the night we'll be able to kill some mobs that have a little bit less range, um, than, than Huglins do. That is the hope. Okay, so there's a piglin settlement right there, which means now we can start heading this way a little bit, and we'll start sidewinding along uh, in that direction. it. Oh, I was so disappointed. Okay. There's a mirage. We haven't seen one of these yet, I don't think. Uh, there's nothing too special about them. Ow. There's a lapis lazuli block down in this pool that is made of glass. Then we've got some soul soil trees. Oh, there's a cave beneath us. 
uh, with uh, jungle leaves, so they can still get jungle saplings from it, so not totally worthless, um, but definitely not what you might think it is as you approach from a distance, which I suppose is the entire... Ow. There goes our elytra. Okay. At least it wasn't a crash landing from two up high. Um, yeah, what are we going to do about this? The baby piglins are the main problem here. Um, okay. Um, let's run around this way and carve into the side. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, we'll just run. We'll just go this way. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. This is this is big danger. Um technically gives us a little bit uh you know, more not more opportunity. We're definitely covering less ground, but we can see the ground a little bit better. So maybe we'll stumble upon the Pharaoh's tomb. Maybe that crash landing wasn't for nothing. Um we can kill these rabbits while we're going on our way and restore the elytra just a little bit. It's not going to be a whole, whole ton, but it's not nothing. The hoglin. We need to run around. We definitely can't handle a hoglin right now. We just do not have the resources. The materials, the protection. Uh, we're very bad at dealing with them. Okay. Oh, I do not want to do that. Ow. I'm going to put these right here until we're ready to fly again. Oh, it's storming. Once again, the Palmetto Desert can't actually handle weather doesn't uh, support weather so the sky gets dark when it storms in the overworld uh, but it, nothing actually happens here we haven't seen a structure in a bit we could be off set some a little too much what's that over there Ooh. oh dear but yeah we'll keep the elytra in our offhand oh i thought oh i see i right clicked there's a piglin settlement that's not what we need but it is there. Well, um, I'd like to hang out around here-ish for a short while, um, just because I want you to see the canyon in all its glory, but there isn't actually a whole lot uh, to do in the canyon. There's no structures enabled for it, um, at least not in this version, and that's because of the way that the canyon is made. Um, this is actually below sea level. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, we'll wait till morning so you can, uh, or at least until the, the storm stops. Probably going to be the same time, to be honest. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the canyon's actually below sea level, which of course makes sense. It's a canyon carved by water at one time or another. Um, and, uh, of course, sea level, uh, there is no water. There's supposed to be no water in the primordial desert, except in oases. Um, so the water gets drained by a feature, uh, during world generation before all the other things, uh, like these trees generate and such, these mushroom, uh, nether shrooms. Um, and then we've got uh, netherrack and nylium down there. Um, and then there can actually be even red terracotta down uh, at the what would have been the seafloor. Um, really, really beautiful, interesting, cool-looking biome. Um, but as I said, just due to the way that the, the sea level kind of affects things, um, structures can end up kind of floating in midair. So they're just disabled for the, the canyon biome. Um, we do still need to restore our elytra a bit more, so I'm thinking we'll go ahead and fight some mobs. Um, I'd rather not fight skeletons, because I feel like we can't take them. Um, oh, that would explain why the elytra is taking so long. Uh, well, of course, now our diamond helmet is, is fully restored, so do these guys have mending? No, they don't. Okay, so the elytra should restore a bit faster for us now. Um, 
I can't quite tell if it's getting brighter. I think it might be. But I'm not really sure. For now, we're just going to continue this way. I think um, we'll, we'll kind of proceed around the edge of the canyon as we search for more structures and try to gather the attention of things like zombies that are easy to kill um, and aren't likely to hit us very much, unlike things like skeletons and creepers. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was, I think, the single best instance of dramatic irony that this series has ever seen. <laughs> that was that was absurd. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this for a little bit. Ow. Okay, come on guys. Work with me a little bit. Stop it. Ow. Silverfish. Die. 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 Come on. Thank you. Okay. Elytra's coming along in much better shape now. So once again, as I was saying, we'll continue in this direction and kind of attract the attention of husks and things in the meantime. Uh, while we're searching for structures that might appear on the horizon. Interesting, there's some hoglins around. I don't think it'd be uh, bright enough for them. But apparently it is getting there. Okay. Put a torch down for you guys. Spider, we want to keep back some. Hello. Yeah, the elytra is coming along much better now. I think once the diamond helmet got a little more repaired, uh, that helped a lot. All right, let's keep on this way. Coming around towards the edge of the. Oh, oh, yes. Oh yeah, the Pharaoh's tomb. Please? Oh, that's why. Ah. Alright, we gotta clear out these skeletons, but we are here. This is the Pharaoh's tomb. This little pyramid right here. Oh boy. Yeah, we've got we've got a couple of mobs to deal with before we can go in there. Ow. We'll also probably wait till morning just because it's uh, it'll be cooler to explore it during the day. Ow. I don't want to die here, guys. Come on. All right. Um, oh, we got to open our ender chest as well and get the keys out. Oh, that's not where I want that or that. Oh, oh, here's Silverfish, where he be. We got Hoglins over there too, we'd rather not deal with them. Um, I'm thinking if I do something along these lines, there we go. And some of this business right here. There we go, kind of like a, a natural barricade against Hoglands. So they can't get over this. They could climb up here, of course. That is a problem. Um, mm, one, two, three. One. Oh, still not. Oh, perfect. We can use some cacti to supplement. Hey, hey. Bad, bad silverfish. Okay. There we go. I think that more or less protects us from Hoglands. Um, so, as well, when we return from the tomb, ooh, pardon me, um, then we will be perfectly safe. Okay, so we are at the Pharaoh's tomb, this uh, small little pyramid with a quartz top. And let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, pardon me. Um, I don't know what has gotten into me. We're gonna. Ooh. All right. So, we are here at the Pharaoh's tomb, at the entrance to the tomb. We've got a keyhole here, and a sign. Whosoever desecrates this tomb shall never know my riches. So, anything that we find here in this tomb, any, any blocks and bits and pieces, we don't want to break. We don't want to touch it. Um, because it could uh, lock the tomb forever. So, with that said, 
Let's grab the first key and open the tomb. Now let's come down here. Ooh, we can light it up nice and quickly and get rid of this. Uh, ooh, oh, that was fast. That was very fast. Um, get rid of that uh, moss spawner before I have to deal with the mummies. That was very, very good uh, timing on our part. All right. So first room opened with the key of the creeper. Now let's move on to the second room opened with the key of the spider and this is a little bit of a it's not a hard puzzle but a little bit of a puzzle we've got our oh that's not what i want to do got our key of the hoglin but it's not doing anything for us yet we want to go ahead and actually uh drop some items on both of these two pressure plates and then we can open the final room of the pharaoh's tomb let's grab these pork chops here there we go and now that we have assembled all three keys and come to the Pharaoh's tomb, we're able to locate it. We can uh, retrieve the tomb's riches. So let's go ahead and grab up all of these blocks here. We've got lots of gold blocks, bit of little iron, some diamond blocks, which of course uh, are a little less valuable, but still uh, very worthwhile, definitely appreciated. We've got a lapis lazuli block just because it's cool and an ancient debris. Sadly, not another right block. That would be a little, little, uh, little much. Um, but still very, very nice. And then we've got this sarcophagus uh, topped with ooh a flower pot, which I I don't want to break because I don't really care. Um, flower pot with a lily of the valley in it. And in the sarcophagus, we have quite a bit of decent gear. So we've got a little bit of sand, a little bit of paper, a little bit of feathers and bones, just the pieces of the uh, mummies. Uh, corpse um, uh, and, and wrappings and stuff. We've got some diamonds, some emeralds, a netherite scrap, some iron, and gold. A little bit of lapis. Uh, we'll definitely need to organize our inventory just a little bit. So let's go ahead and put the gold blocks right there. Uh, I think there was gold ingots right here. Just one gold ingot. One gold ingot right there. Let's put some diamonds and emeralds, the ancient debris, and the scrap go ahead and uncraft uh, this and that. Oh, nope, I, I, I said to do that, thank you. So we have our iron and diamonds. A Little bit of iron right there as well. We've got our lapis, I'll go ahead and uncraft this block here. A Little bit of quartz, not super valuable, but I'll go ahead and keep it. And I wanna keep these uh, keys in there, of course, as well. Um, all the rest of this stuff is not terribly valuable, so we'll just go ahead and keep it on us. And then we've got an efficiency for and mending netherite shovel, and a knockback to fire aspect to sharpness three netherite sword. Sadly, no armor. That was the main thing that we were after, but still very worthwhile for getting basically two pieces of netherite scrap, some great uh, tools and weapons and such. Um, and just a bunch of other uh, great loot. So the Pharaoh's Tomb, definitely worthwhile to try and uh, find and get all the, all the keys to open up. With that said, I think this has been a very successful episode 50, so we're going to go ahead and follow our Lodestone Compass home so we can wrap up this episode. All righty. Um, so let's see, we want to fly off in this direction. Uh, you know what, actually, we can, we can kind of soar over this canyon here a bit. So this is what the canyon looks like. We've got some pretty high hills here. This is actually a little bit abnormal for a canyon. Normally, they're mostly these lowlands down here where we've got the red terracotta in little basins. So really, really beautiful uh, biome. Uh, for, there was a little while where it was actually uh, removed. Oh, looks like they've got some errors with the uh, water feature. Um, there was a little while during the, the beta, um, in fact, still kind of currently. Uh, maybe, maybe not currently, actually. Um, where the canyon was removed due to some uh, a Mojang bug that uh, was causing the canyon to crash due to the way that I handled the water. Um, and as of right now, and of course, in this version, it is possible to have some water left over that doesn't get cleared correctly. Um, in the, the current version of the beta and what will be the final release um, of the dimensions, uh, 
the Dimensions expansion as part of New in Town. Uh, the canyon is, of course, re-implemented, still, still implemented. Um, and there is no water at all. There's no reason to worry about sea level um, because the sea level is actually just replaced with lava and is much lower in the world. Um, it, which makes the caves a lot more interesting too. So, uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, I am going to make a couple more rockets here because I can. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Well, like I said, anyway. Um, so yes, the canyon is is implemented uh, and will be in the final version of New in Town Dimensions. Um, and it won't have any of this water, which also means there will be structures in the canyon. Um, some canyon probably exclusive structures to account for the uh, just vastly different environment that it is. All right, with that said, let's uh, proceed and go back to the portal, go back home. There's no reason to really open all these extra tombs, the Hogland tombs and stuff. They're just desert temple uh, chests um, with the keys, and we already have one of each key. And we've already opened the Pharaoh's tomb. Of course, we could go searching for another Pharaoh's tomb uh, one day in the future, but I think one tomb is enough for now. Um, I'm quite happy with the extent that we had to go searching for it at this point. All right. Let's make our way back home. A valiant and successful hero, archaeologist, ooh, conqueror of the Pharaoh's tomb. Alrighty, here we go. Back home, safe and sound at our portal. Uh, Safe-ish from this hoglin. <laughs> Get out of here. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and unpack some of this stuff that we don't really need to bring back with us. Um, I am going to bring the paper and we use the gunpowder. Don't need that here, really. Um... Yeah, I think the rest uh, we will... Oh, the lodestone compass will leave here, obviously. Um, yeah, the rest we'll go ahead and bring uh, back with us in our ender chest. All right, let's go back home to the buried ocean. And I think for this, given uh, our success, given how exciting uh, this episode was, we will go ahead and fly back to the buried ocean. Um, if I can recall which direction it is. Um, I'm thinking this way. Yep, here we go. Nice. Very nice landing. Alright. Ow! That's right, I forgot about him. Ow! Ow! Oh gosh. I don't have my trident, I can't fight back. I mean, I have the conduit, but still. Come on, okay. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, trident drowned are ridiculous. All right, come on. Let's go back to the captain ship. Here we go. Leave me alone. Okay. Whew, we're back. We're back. We did it. Let's unpack all of our loot. Let's uh, let's do that for sure, because I'm excited. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to put that on me here. So we have 11 lapis lazuli, two to uh, another quartz, not super duper useful. We've got quite a bit of diamonds and emeralds. Probably do some reorganizing of this chest next episode. We'll take a little bit of time to do that. And then we've got ancient debris and netherite scrap. We'll go ahead and cook the ancient debris. Uh, once we gather the rest of our materials from this uh, red shulker box here. We'll go ahead and put that back. We've got our trident, our other pickaxe, and diamond hoe. We've got a cobblestone. Lots of food, of course. All of this stuff here, just incidentals mostly. Uh, ooh, that's not correct. There we go. There it is. And put the rockets right there. I think we'll leave the netherite scrap in here. Um, just because it is so highly valuable. And we'll go ahead and get that uh, ancient debris cooking. So, like I said, episode 50. 
thank you guys again so much for joining me on this long journey. Hopefully, uh, there's still plenty more to keep you guys engaged and interested as we continue to expand our fleet and explore the buried ocean, the primordial desert, and eventually the tempest if we find a portal for it. Um, I also hope you guys will keep an eye on the channel um, as we uh, get ready and hopefully uh, we're getting cl pretty close to summer. So 1.17 is just on the horizon and uh, progress on the 1.17 version of New in Town Dimensions, New in Town uh, kind of uh, as part of that is coming along really, really well. New in Town Excavators has lots of cool stuff coming for it. If you want to see that, uh, see kind of some glimpses, sneak peeks uh, of what's to come, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, and of course you can join the discord server to actually get involved with the uh, new in town dimensions pre-release beta version uh, Which will soon include all of excavators that is done as well as some more stuff for the primordial desert in general Like I was mentioning before um, With that said if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like uh, Share with your friends and subscribe to keep an eye on when new videos come out Thank you again so so much for watching all these episodes and I will see you guys next time